Hey guys, so mythology. Yes, I, I had a class on mythology not so long ago and um, it, was, it was really complicated and really hard to understand. I'm really, have a hard time understanding original, you know, versions of myth, mythological stories, if you want to put it that way. Um, worst part about it is you got to read tons and tons of different books, different versions. And, it, and and I remember one time I had a really hard time doing a Nordic paper. Now I'm, I'm finally getting to the point. Um, there's this book though that was really easy to understand and if any of you for some reason have uh, to do a review or a book report or anything dealing with Nordic mythology, this is, this is the book you should go with. It's the Norse Myths by, um, well, I'll just put the name right there. I'll write it out um, up top. It's actually really easy to understand, and I have a really hard time understanding uh, mythology in general. And um, it, it, it keeps it simple, and it actually is close enough to the original, though, or the original myths that you, you don't get thrown off. It's not like, you know, some child's version. Like, this is an adult version, but it's easier to understand if that makes sense. And I think it really uh, has basically, I think, almost all the Nordic myths. It doesn't go into different versions of them. So if you're, if you're doing like Ragnarok, uh, the differences between versions, you'll need another copy, but this one kind of does a pretty good summing it up. It also has maps of, it also has a map of what uh, the Nordics thought of their world and stuff. It's actually a really good source if you want to use it. I definitely recommend it. Um, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.